Here's a SBR number one. JC has number two. Still sitting in his safe with nothing on it. Part way. Okay, part way. Stand by. All right, these 300 blackout rounds are the ones JC loaded. I guess since he loaded them, I'm the one that gets to test them out to make sure they work. I don't see how that really works, but I guess if they blow up, since he's on my trust, it's his way of trying to get the silencers early. Asshole. Oh shit, it didn't go off. Oh shit, JC. You didn't chamber one. Uh oh. Maybe you did. <laughs> it's your fault. That wasn't my fault. Oh. Hey, let's try this again. Oh shit. Your shit don't work. The other magazine did. Alright, let's try this again and see if this works. Well, I guess it wasn't your ammo after all. I guess cleaning off the firing pin actually helps. I guess you can yeah, clean gun sonic all the time. A clean gun helps when, when hands are that dirty. A clean yeah. gun helps. Um, clean guns are happy guns. Yeah, but with a silencer, all that carbon ain't going nowhere. It's going back <laughs> inside the gun. So, yeah, you should always clean the gun after you use it, especially if you're shooting with a silencer. Yeah, if y'all want to look and see how dirty it is after shooting with a silencer. Yep. What helps in the bolt home? It's pretty dirty. I don't know if you can see up in there, but it's pretty filthy. This has been Cerakoted uh, foliage green. If you look right in there, you can see all the brass particles from this shooting. It's supposed to be Magpul foliage green, but <laughs> it's turning black from all the shooting it's been doing with the silencer on it. So, you can see just handprints. But, uh, Cerakote works great. Just wipe it off and it'll be good. So, uh, if you're shooting suppressed, make sure you clean your guns or um, you'll be having problems like we do.